The thing that's really important for companies to take away from um, our findings here is that the next generation workforce is so important for companies' uh, future, you know, for their um, all of their future revenue, for their future growth, for their competitive advantage. Um, we all know that the boomers will be retiring, um, maybe not quite as quickly as um, they may have originally planned due to the economic circumstances, of course. Um, but there aren't enough uh, Gen Xers, you know, the next generation to take their place, and the importance of the next generation workforce and Gen Y coming in and filling filling in uh, for those retirees is really important. Um, so companies really are depending, their future depends on the success of Gen Y. So what we're identifying here for companies and what we hope are some of the takeaways is what the best of the best are really doing to attract that, that next generation workforce and that Gen Y talent. So some of the things, of course, we talk about seem obvious to, to some, um, like, for example, the importance of social networking and uh, companies' support of that. Um, the next generation workforce is entirely accustomed to being wired to one another and to the rest of the world. Um, we have found that there actually are many companies that um, prohibit um, or ban entirely the wow. use of sites like Facebook and MySpace and LinkedIn. And um, so uh, we really think that that is, you know, um, um, a very uh, a waste of a, of a great resource um, and certainly is going to signal to their Gen Y employees that. Um, there's a, a disconnect there, a very sure. serious one. Um, leveraging Web 2.0 um, technology is something that, again, is sort of um, uh, the best companies are really making use of that internally in terms of how they communicate to their people, um, how they keep their teams aligned. Uh, Web 2.0 uh, technologies, video, chat, um, the um, different technologies that this next generation workforce is used to in terms of how they actually uh, get their information on a day-to-day -day basis, but socially and um, academically. So companies that are utilizing those capabilities are going to have um, better um, communications with this next generation workforce, and so therefore their teams are going to be more successful. We know that a lot of companies seem to think that this next generation workforce um, needs a lot of feedback, <laughs> you know, needs a, a direction. Some have labeled them as a bit um, whiny, perhaps, or, you know, constantly asking, you know, what about now? What's next? What's next? And um, we just think that um, the, the best of the best companies out there are really recognizing that that's a trait, again, of, of how this generation um, is accustomed to um, receiving feedback and to receiving their information very quick, very you know responsive, very engaging, very interactive, constant. Mm -hmm. And so companies that um, are uh, being planful and training their management to be responsive in that same way um, are really getting a better connection and therefore better loyalty, better productivity, etc., um, from their next generation workforce. Um, I think this probably goes without saying um, that it, companies that do invest in their people and take efforts to the loyalty among their people um, really do um, have, have many benefits, particularly with this next generation. They, are, um, they seek out um, the ability to contribute and to grow with the company. The company's ability to present those pathways and make those opportunities possible is what the best of the best are really doing and working with that next generation talent to make that happen. And they're therefore getting um, higher retention rates, less attrition, um, lowering their training costs because they've got you know that, that pipeline of talent that's then training the next coming up behind them. Um, so lots of benefits on the top line and the bottom line. The whole concept of um, recognizing that job requirements really do um, um, evolve in terms of what the candidates are looking for and what jobs, um, you know, the, the skill sets and so forth that are needed in jobs are going to continue to change faster and faster. So bringing those things together and really working with that next generation on um, crafting pathways, expressing things differently in a way that this generation is going to connect to, these are the types of things that the best of the best um, employers are really doing making a very big difference in their success in recruiting and retaining Gen Y.